Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And uh, before I say anything, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. Now let's get started. The reason why I haven't brought back Instagram talk today is because I have some things going on. I have to do some things, do some more work. But, you know, I'll bring it back on next Monday. But well, that's okay, it's okay. I promise. Now, now, let's now let's talk about something else. What do I think about Tommaso Ciampa being the NXT champion? I mean, I'm I'm shocked. I'm surprised. Uh, that was totally unexpected. I but I didn't see. I saw Johnny Gargano try to try to take the title off. Of Champa, but accidentally hitting Black instead, that allowed him to win the title. So I was still shocked about that, but you know what? <laughs> I'm still mad, but you know what? I'm not too happy, but I'll take it. Just sometimes life happens. What do I think about somebody, Roman Reigns, becoming the next Universal Champion? Because I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Roman Reigns wants the Universal Championship. I don't blame him. Who, bl who don't blame him? Nobody. And this could open the door for everyone who wants a Universal title opportunity? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. With Roman Reigns. I agree Roman Reigns' point. I think mean, Seth Rollins wants it. Uh, Drew McIntyre wants it. Um, Finn Balor most desperately wanted because he didn't get a full championship run. Yeah. Next point I made is how do I feel? About the WWE Championship, not many if any adult blended pay per view. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm really mad. Because the last time the WWE Championship may have been an adult branded pay per view was at Battleground of 2016. And it was whoever wins takes the WWE title to your Raw or SmackDown. I personally wanted Rollins or Reigns to win it. But Dean Ambrose, lucky and all, survived and took the WWE title to SmackDown. And the Miz is right. The WWE should be the WWE champion should be the main event of all pay-per-views at all times. Not that stupid Roman Reigns match. A backlash this year against Samoa Joe. This is why I love WWE, but I hope they can make new changes. Yes, yes, they brought new superstars to NXT. Yes, they bring new new, ah, new superstars to Raw and SmackDown Live and 205 Live. But I figured they want to do. I figured they could do more. Not that crappy production screen, production people. I mean, what are they going to do? Who is in charge? Who is in charge of the production team? Next, what do I think about Impact not having a GM? I mean, this is pissing me off. We haven't seen Jim Cornette since last year, and it's very pissing me off. Who is in charge of Impact? What are they going to do? Yes, Impact is bringing good shows, but I feel like they need a GM to cre keep creating it. Not this Impact management stuff. And I know Don Callis is, is a commentator. I hope they can bring back something to spice it up like it once was. 
And what else? What else? New Japan, they've done well, you know. They done well. We crown new a new champion in Juice Robinson. It's good. And lastly, what do I think about Juice Robinson not interested in being WWE? I mean, I don't blame the guy. The guy had a bad run in WWE and NXT to be exact. I feel like he can do more in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I feel like he can do more in New Japan Pro Wrestling. When he loses the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. He could be a world champion. He could be intercontinental champion. Junior heavyweight champion. Tag team champion. Hell. He could be junior heavyweight tag team champion. Hell. It don't even matter. Win a G1 Climax Tournament. Win the best of the Super Juniors Tournament. He can do all. He can do it all man. The kid has heart, he has determination, he's got soul. But no me this. No me this. He will become next, the next world champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I know I said this, this is my last point, but I'm going to make another one. Just one more and I'm done. All right. What do I think about Chris Jericho becoming the first superstar ever to be Intercontinental Champion in WWE and Intercontinental Champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling for a tenth time? I mean, it's awesome. He he tied a record. I am so proud of Chris Jericho for what he's accomplished. He's been WWE World Heavyweight Champion, first ever Undisputed Champion, now a ten-time Intercontinental Champion. Help the career, the money, the bank ladder match. He did it all. I'm proud of him. Well, that's all my that's my points. Please like, subscribe, comment, and turn on the bell for notifications. And Instagram talk will come back on next Monday, and I hope I see you guys next time.